Gentlemen and gentlemen, for today I get something special for you. 3x3 games. Why it's so special? Because it's very rare to get 6 players in one game. Usually you're lucky when you get at least one. So if you enjoyed this replay, consider joining OpenERA Discord where you find more players and more information. At this time we get very balanced and teams of 3 players versus 3 players. On the map Dune 9, which doesn't have any expansion expect middle, so it's simple but effective. On the top is Claire, red alert player. In the middle is uh, Commander, also known as Slope, who usually play uh, TD or uh, also red alert, but uh, was quite active in Dune. And very good uh, red alert player Quarks. And against them are Dune player Wololo. On the top, in the middle is Bobuk, who usually play a red alert, and on the bottom is a Dune player Nabil. And we are. The map is based on enhanced balance, balance map, which uh, brings some competitive balance, and also implements some missing feature that uh, Open Era Dune still doesn't have, like uh, starport, proper edge. And we are also playing on the play faction merge mode. Which means that uh, besides your main faction, you can also choose one additional sub faction. The sub factions are smugglers, firemen, corino, and mercenaries. It give you some additional unit and support powers. It's basically the same mechanic as in Emperor Battlefield Dune, if you remember that game. So uh, we already get some action. Looks like Slope and Quarks are going some uh, dry rush. And it's very dangerous because, let's see, Nabil got lots of uh, infantry, he can rebuild this, probably. Let's see, but the, there is not much uh, in Bobuk's base. And yeah, he's going for the power and sh he should be in low power soon. Let's see here, uh, yeah, he's going okay, but here there is not much uh, to rebuild uh, this. Like, it's just like, what, 10 infantry? That's not enough for uh, 6 strikes. Yeah, and low power, very nice. Let's see here, looks like Nabil managed to rebuild the tracks. But here's come the wall of reinforcements, he built his own tracks and saved the day. But definitely it slowed Bobuk down. Lose one wind trap, one refinery. And for some reason Clay is also on low power, why? He, he wasn't attacked. Well, he is new in Dune, so he probably don't know how much uh, power cost each building, so it can happen. So now it's early game for the team 1. And he got second attempt. Let's see how it goes. But this time Wall is around and he can uh, support this infant, it will be very nice for, uh, for uh, him and for his team play. Yeah, but he decided no, and this whole infantry sent to his death sneak. Yeah, they Nabil got the upgrades for and uh, so he can build troopers. Uh, don't know yet, but he's on uh, three barracks, so he can spam uh, infantry very fast, so it's okay. So he's a little bit behind with heavy factory, but not in overall economy. And uh, he's wall with lots of strikes. This is dangerous for Mr. Slow because he got just one thing, so a couple of strikes, and not much uh, else here. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, he's calling for help. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, he's going for spy refineries. And because Slow uh, still doesn't have a Ponyar upgrade, that means. Uh, he will be much more vulnerable to strikes and a low tier units. He killed two and decided to retreat, good call. But if he killed even third one, well that will definitely broke a uh, slope a lot. Even now his uh, harvesters are stuck because one refinery can handle just three harvesters, you can see that. So yeah, definitely good achievement. Yeah, and he's trying for some second action in the Quark's base, but 
slobs nowadays and uh, he's going in. Yeah. Oh, probably he got. Ah, he's a low power, so not bad. Again. Not bad. But lose lots of targets in the process. Who should probably go for the fight because he will not uh, run out anymore. And what about Mr. Clay? Mr. Clay is very passive. It looks like he doesn't do anything. So far. Here's the Nabil again with some infantry and trying for some uh, his own attack. Yeah, what do we get here? Hmm. Second attempt for the Bololo. Going up for the uh, effect, but there's lots of tries here anyway. So it will be hard. And he decides to go for the tries smartly. But this was a reveal also, and probably this uh, infantry doesn't achieve much. Why? Wow, look at the muscle. 15 tries, I would say. Lots of. And here is also the tank in front, and this attack the 70 doesn't go as well as for would like to. Lots of strikes. How much he got army? Uh, 20 strikes, 3 tanks. So that's a lot. Other uh, and Nabil got almost 100 infantry. Well, that's a good number, but usually you wanna also some troopers in the mix, especially just where the strikes and tanks. Okay, let's see the economy. So, clay is on 10 harvester, good enough for selling mark. Quark's also very good. Commander is, let's see the graph, he's a little bit behind because so you can clearly see the drop from Kelato refineries and it takes time to, uh, him to rebuild. Still on one heavy factory. Like most players are on one heavy factory, only Nabil is in full production. Right now. Okay, we got some uh, action here, yeah, but lots of uh, try to do the job very well. There is some troopers here and there, but there is also infantry from uh, Quarks, and he was revealed also some quads in the mix, very nice. Quads are actually very good to use, especially with uh, sieges and missile tanks, so you, usually you want to build them in a um, mid to late game. They are not as effective as uh, front line tanks, and there is lots of tanks here actually. Let's see, but no troopers from uh, Quarks, and yeah, Nabil is going for the crush, it's very nice. Let's look at the damage, and super hard by the infantry, nice, but now they forgot also Quarks, but... Uh, at the end, it could be better, like, still the tanks was idle, and they clearly can go for the free crushing spree. And what we got here? Very nice attack from behind by Bobuk. Also very well attacking harvesters, that's smart. Yes, but harvester down. Well, even this one. But he's going for the base. You probably do better if you just stay here and kill any harvester that show up. And there's also lots of tanks from um, Bobuk. Nice, you can kill this. Kill, please kill this harvester. Smart. get some action here oh ho 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 oh our refiner is down that's nasty that's a very good achievement from the wall wall sadly I miss it and harvest down again it lose at least two is very good engagement this is also in danger again harvest down how many Ah, he got, he got actually lots of harvesters, so if you stay focused on that, it will be actually a better choice than going for the base. Ah, at least, Slob got uh, some money in the bank for uh, the refinery, so he rebuilt. But you can see, like, shit tons of harvesters and they just cannot do anything, because one uh, refinery can handle just three harvesters. 
so his economy should be in a very disparate uh, way. I like, look the drop massive. Also from Mr. Clay, I wise that at least finally Clay is on the attack. So how is this go? He got lots of tanks, but there's also lots of troopers here, so he must be careful. Yeah, troopers do their job. Yeah, he managed to do some crashes at least. But lots of troopers and lots of the the, the tanks. Yeah, this not go very well for Clay. Still, we got Bobux with his uh, orders tanks harassing the, the commander's base. Smart. This is m one of the main advantage of uh, uh, orders tanks. They are fast. They can reposition very fast. Do some. Uh, they get very good rate of fire. So can they can do lots of damage. Ah! He doesn't manage to kill harassers. Never mind. But good try. He's smart, he doesn't uh, go in the direct combat, just uh, do some harassment here and there. He got also some action here. And this uh, looks like old school artillery doctrine. Just sieges and troopers. Like the main advantage of the siege things is that uh, they can be produced very fast, you can produce them faster than tanks. So even they die quickly, you can replace them very quickly. Kill the tank. Kill the kill. Ah! Doesn't kill the tank. Never mind, at least he kill MCV. Again. Combination siege tanks and troopers. Like this combination is usually effective in mid game but in late game it, like troopers cannot stop all the tanks all the time and when tier 3 start showing up it's not uh, as effective anymore nice use of strikes with vision advantage so your sieges can uh, shoot for further away and uh, there's also lots of tanks and you can see like Sieges do very little damage to tanks, so they all die to the tanks. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, stack the harvesters. Ah, some uh, again, some uh, flanking. This time not very effective. Uh, ball lost almost everything. Like we are in a 13 minute mark. That means. Uh, Players got the Konyar upgrade and the Trike's uh, harassment against buildings is not as effective anymore. And why Konyar's upgrade armor in the first place? Well, you can see we playing on auto concrete. That means you don't need to place concrete on the buildings. It's automatically built. So your buildings are always on full health. So to nerf this, uh, you got less armor on the buildings. So they behave as they was on the half health before you build the Konyar upgrade. Yeah, lots of damage from the sieges, but now he must uh, run, but he never ran around infantry. Exactly. Ah, we get MCV in the middle, only one expansion on this map. Nice. Again, some harassment from the strikes. I guess Quark still doesn't have uh, the upgrade for. Uh, Konyar upgrade. Yeah, but there is a lot of army from him, and so this is the problem. Your reinforcements are far away, and Quark's reinforcements going right from the factory. That's why uh, killing the base is so hard. Especially on the map where there is no expansion, and there are no expansions on this map. Expect this middle. At last, Clay decide I need to do something. Got lots of strikes, but there's also lots of troopers here, so I don't know if there will be as effective. What we got here, okay. Finally. Quarks and his teammates managed to repel Nabil and Volo and Pobu from their base. It's 
infancy. Uh, yeah, use your uh, infancy in front. You're, uh, you probably don't want to also your track so close because look at the damage from, from the infantry. All tracks die for nothing. But here, this is smart. World came with his reinforcement from behind. And he got also lots of quads and quads are extremely good versus CGs, also missile tanks. They can kill CGs with two or three salvos. It's really nice gameplay. Okay, we get some in the second action and this is dangerous because Lots of harvesters are actually mining here uh, by the Nabil and we got the first try high loot. Let's see if he's hungry. Is he hungry? Yeah, he's hungry. So Mr. Wallace, you cannot complain that there is no worms anymore. And actually Nabil even doesn't have a lot of army at this moment. And lots of army from uh, the quarks and near his base. This looks dangerous. But we could have to bring some reinforcements, but would it be enough? Already lost two harvesters. Oh um, no, he got 16, and now he's, he lost three. And, uh, we get also lots of action here uh, on the expansion, and also here. And also some uh, engagement will uh, here. Wow, lots of things to cover. I don't know where to focus. Yeah, at least the uh, refining survived, so this is still uh, a thing, but this looks dangerous. Lots of tanks, some sieges in the background, but there is uh, not much infantry from our uh, quarks, so this doesn't matter. At least you got, uh, there is some groupers, uh, yeah, so sieges in the background, looks dangerous, and also now you lose lots of a harvester again. We got some uh, engagements here. How is going here? Yeah, slow and grinding forward with uh, the CGs, but it was not enough. He lost all the, his uh, tanks and his first tier, tier 3 devastators. Also, some devastators from Wolo. So, yeah, it looks like Team 2 started switching for tier 3 units. On the other hand, Team 1 is still on tier 1 and 2 mix. Like, not uh, even the missile tanks yet. all this section come on kill the refinery otherwise uh, they will still uh, can build turrets and everything else here ah they wasn't they pay attention yeah we got some harassment between Pobuk and uh, slope they get almost same color so it's hard to distinguish with who <laughs> refinery is still alive oh, it wasn't destroyed <laughs> like wall <laughs> What we got here? Oh, Clay's trying to do something. At least something. And this refinery is still alive. Wow. You can just build a barracks there, start a spawning unit, some turrets, wall themselves, and wall all the section. And we get lots of other tracks here, but whoa, whoa what he's doing? Why he's just moving uh, around the base? Like he's just sucking up all the damage and uh, do nothing. <laughs> he's just dancing around and uh, taking all the damage he could and uh, <laughs> wait until all the tracks die. <laughs> Painful to watch, I must say. How it looks like here, it's pretty even still, stuck in the middle, 
Yeah, and that's why the maps without expansions are usually very long. We got some reinforcements for Mr. Quax. That means his uh, sub factions is Corino. So we will see also Corino Palace, and he didn't build it yet. Uh, there is lots of action here, but there, uh, Bobu is, uh, is uh, supporting Bobo. Well. But also, uh, Slope is supporting the clan. This is basically 2v2 stuck here, and we got some facel destructs. This is dangerous, this is dangerous. You must retreat. Oh, nice. Not the best one, but probably was worth it. We see again. Yeah. He must quickly destroy the, uh, this one, but he, yeah, he switched, but bam! Oh, too late! Massive damage. Oh, infantry die. We get the same hair here, probably uh, Nabil can go for the self destruct with this one. But he doesn't pay attention what we got here. Finally, the refinery died. And Bobu is still on uh, tier uh, 1. But he got excellent unit versus Devastators. Deviators just capture Devastator and force them to attack uh, nearby units. It's very good counter for uh, against Harkonnen. I would even say in June you got this uh, Rock Paper Scissor. Harkonnen are very, very good versus Atreides, Atreides are good versus Ordos, and Ordos are very good versus Harkonnen. And the first bombardment tank, very multi-purpose uh, tier 2 in unit, so he, so Bobu is actually also Corino, because bombardment tanks are Corino special units. But Nabil is like uh, struggling, he doesn't have any money, he loses, he, he still lose lots of uh, harvesters in process. What we got here? Yeah, Mr. Slope is slowly but steadily uh, going forward. And this is smart. Watch this side, I don't go for the base. I will just stay here and wait uh, until all your harvesters show up and kill them. Careful with your uh, dev uh, deviators. What we got? Oh, dead hand. Last, uh, last second save from the Karyal. But this is smart. Using what? Just versus the harvesters. If your enemy doesn't pay attention, he will lose everything and lose his economy and lose the game. We got also lots of action here, lots of devastators and still just tier on the uh, unit here. Now you can counter devastators with um, troopers but if there are some sieges in background, it's very hard. It's even hard without that. Sometimes you can counter devastators with basic tanks because you can outproduce uh, uh, devastators. Because you can build much more tanks uh, than uh, devastators. And now Quarks is in a Nabil doorstep, and Nabil is totally broke. He build, uh, he, he loses lots of harvesters. Like look at this! Wow, big achievement. On the hand wall is at the clay doorstep and uh, he can achieve the same. He got lots of still got lots of harvesters, also lots of missile tanks, but he doesn't have much anti in infantry at this moment. Like you can see devastators do uh, actually very good damage also versus uh this infantry. So it's probably not a uh, Necessary always. Yeah, and Nabil don't, don't pay attention. Absolutely. I wow, he losing one harvester after other. Also carry house. This is dangerous. This will can lose him a game. 
is, is still focused here. Wow. Just look at it. Boom. Again, seven harvesters. No matter what you do, if you lose your harvesters, you cannot win at all. You cannot assist any British. He's constantly broke. You cannot rebuild. He's now on six. On the other hand, well, counter-attack for clay base doesn't go as well. But uh, he clay actually loses lots of harvesters by himself. He's on 12, but it's nothing compared to 6 and 9 from Bobuk. They both lost a lot of uh, harvesters during just... How many? It was just few. What here? And they basically sort of rip off all Nabil and Bobuk uh, economy. Let's see the economy, bro. Yeah... Nabil is... Uh, Totally down. Bobby is not as bad. But Slope and Quarks have doubled the economy. So, yeah, economy is looking very bad for our team to finally he found the Guads. Was about the time he already lose, like, I mean, at least 10 harvesters. Got some nice bombardment tanks here in the background. Very versatile units. You can very if you micromart them very well. Uh, they actually are also very deadly. And there's lots of deviated, no, sorry, devastators. And here's the second army of uh, Wax. And this time he doesn't even try to go for the base. He just chill in the spice fields. And we can see the hide ability. That means Nabil sub faction is actually Fremen. So let's see if we see some Warm Riders. Also, some reinforcements from Emperor himself. And Quarks use basic infantry versus Sabdu cards. That is actually very good because uh, Sabdu cards are not very effective versus basic infantry. They are very good versus vehicles, not infantry. Yeah, go for the crashes, but there is also some mistakes in the background. Just green, they will die fast. Nice. But still a lot of uh, devastators everywhere. Low power from both players. Well, try to uh, again do some get into the club base. But I feel like Nabil is out of the game. FK at this moment, I don't know even. Yeah, that <laughs> that frigate by Quarks. Nice. Ah, uh, well, he's trying uh, to do some countering and just destroy everything Clay has. He also managed to uh, somehow kill uh, again lots of harvesters from Clay. He's now on 10, but Nabil is just on say, uh, Still, he doesn't reproduce. Why? Like, he doesn't even uh, harvest anything. He's totally FLK. He must see this, uh, uh, these harvesters are not doing anything. We got. Ah, we got Dead Hand. Nice. But Clay is very well walled with uh, the red, and there is also lots of reinforcements uh, from uh, Slope going his way. Also, some army from uh, the uh, Noro by Clay, so this army is stuck between two armies. Bad, bad, and uh, look at this. Nagel doesn't have anything, he still doesn't. Uh, uh, still didn't see his uh, harvesters, are, doesn't mind anything. He's just so, yeah. Ah. Uh. Like, you must check your harvests from time to time, there is even hotkey for that. Exactly this reason. Just still so all the harvesters with hotkey and check if they do what they should do. Doesn't go very well here for Wololo. And also, probably, probably should switch for more deviators just to capture all these devastators. And this is over for Nabil. Yeah, GG. 
Bubble GG already, you know, there's no chance. Now build GG soon. At least we can enjoy the destruction of his base, which is massive. Nice. Okay, what we get here? And we will try his last attempt to achieve something. by yourself the link is in the description and if you like what you saw join opener discord where you're gonna find lots of players and try it by yourself that's all for now thank you for watching bye